Should I buy life insurance to build some cash value? I've been presented this idea and it sounds really, really good. I buy a life insurance policy, I overfund it, and which will build cash value, and then I get to extract the money tax-free. And great concept, it sounds fabulous. I buy into a life insurance policy, I protect my family if I pass away, or when I pass away, and during my life, I get to withdraw the money tax-free. So we've all heard the saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So here's what I want you to understand when considering a life insurance policy. You are buying a death benefit and by having the cash value build, you are overfunding the policy with the intent that you borrow the money tax-free. So great concept, you are gonna borrow money. The insurance company is gonna charge you an interest rate on that money that you extract, which will come from the death benefit. But I want you to consider this part. If we are overfunding the policy and we have a cash value, when we pass away, our beneficiaries don't get the cash value and the death benefit. They only get the death benefit. So a more effective way to consider this is you buy a policy that is kind of like a term policy, which will be maybe 10% of the cost and you invest the rest. If something happens, your family will get both. And especially if you're putting money in towards a Roth IRA, the money comes out tax-free anyway. So I've seen so many gimmicks like this, but here's what I typically will see when the policy does not produce. Depending on the contract and how it's written up, when these things go wrong, the policy lapses, which means all the money that these people paid into the policy goes away, or they have to put a lot more in to keep it going. So reason why I bring this up is I've been asked this over time, hey, should I consider buying a cash value life insurance policy? And we say really it depends on your entire picture, but there are a lot of kind of bits and pieces that you need to be aware of before doing so. Suggestion would be this, make sure you talk to an independent advisor who's looking at your overall picture, not just someone who's interested in selling you life insurance. Oh,